Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Forget Me Too from Machine Gun Kelly featuring Halsey. Uh, it's quite a cool little fun guitar piece to play, it's pretty tricky. Uh, just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you give me the like, uh, if you could leave me some comments in the comment section, let me know where in the world you're from, if you're enjoying it, and any song requests as well, put them in the comment section. Also, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support me and keep me going, uh, I've got a Patreon account. Uh, I've set it at just $1, so hopefully it's accessible to everyone. Uh, so for that, I'm going to put tabs on there. I'll put the tabs for this on there so you can print them off and you can see it all at the same time. Okay, quite a lot to get through. Um, it starts off with like the acoustic guitar part, uh, which sounds like this. So for that we've got a C sharp 5, which is your first finger A4, third finger D6, little finger on G6, and we're going to move this shape around. So then we go up a string to G sharp, then we go down at the first fret, so that's F5, and then go to the A string at the sixth fret, and that's D sharp 5. Um, so the first two bars go like this. So there's an extra hit on the G sharp five and the D sharp five. And then the next two bars are just the same chords without the extra hit on, so you get. So that's the first line. Let's try it all the way through. Here we go. Three, four. And then the distorted guitar comes in and it sounds like this. So for that we've got this big stretch out of this chord. First finger A4, third finger D6, little finger on G8, and then we're going to need the second finger on fret G5 as well. So we go, hit that with the little finger on, take the little finger off, and we've got the G5, and it goes back on, so you get, okay, and then it comes off, and then on again. So up to the first hit in bar six, you go, and then you've got to slide up two frets when you hit that last one but just with the little finger take the rest of them off so you get this then you just hear that 10 up there and then it goes back to the four six and five so the first two bars go and then we go up a string it's a similar idea, but you use your third finger flat across the A and D strings of the sixth fret. And we've got E4 with the first finger, little finger on D8, and we've got. So, similar idea, little finger on, off, on, off, on, slide up two frets, and then two hits with just a four, six, and six. Hopefully this is making sense. It's a pretty tricky little piece to play to. Uh, so let's play the whole of that first line. We've got three, four. And then it goes to the next line. Uh, first finger barred across the first fret. Third finger A, three, little finger on G3, and again we hit it, little finger off, then back on, and then off and on, and then slides up two frets to fret five, and then we hit that last chord, twice, so we've got, and then bar 11, we've got five on the D string, six on the A string, and we go to fret six on the second last hit on the D6. So you got bum, 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 bum. Okay, so and then some uh, 
some percussive notes on the end, so you get. So let's try the whole of that line. Let's put the two lines together. Okay, now the next two times around, so that's like the kind of intro part. Now the first two times, uh, the next two times around uh, the verse, it's the same idea, but it's just got slightly different last two bars. Um, so it goes. So that's the same, and then we just get. So just five and six, two more hits, then another one, and then go to six and six, back to five and six, and five and six, so. So that's the first time round, and then it goes round again. And then we get. So similar idea, just five and six, five and six again, twice more, then six and six, back to five and six, uh, and hits that, so you get uh, bars 27 and 28 go. Okay, and so that's the verse of the song, and then we get the bridge part, uh, which goes. So for that we play A4, D6, B4, back to D6, B4, B6. Same in the next bar. Then it goes to E4, A6, G3, A6, G3, G5. And it does that again. So let's try the whole of that line, here it comes. On to the next line, it goes to E1, A3, open G, A3, G, and then G1. Then repeats that. Then goes to a D sharp power chord. 6th fret of the A string, 8th fret of the A D string, and we're going to hit that 8 times. So let's try the whole of the bridge. And up speed. And then the chorus of the song are the same chords that we did at the beginning, doing the... So you do that around three times, so the first two bars times three, and then you've got C sharp for two bars. And then C sharp minor, so you just add your second finger onto B5. Uh, and so the last four bars go. And then that goes back to the verse. Um, you could play the. Um, it strips out the guitar on the first eight bars and then brings it back in. Um, and then the rest of the song is literally just going, uh, just does that verse, does a bridge. Does a chorus uh, and then does another chorus as kind of what feels like a middle eight and then a chorus to finish. And that's the whole song. Well, that was a pretty tricky one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and found this useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, giving me a like, uh, give me some comments in the comment section and put some requests in there. Let me know where in the world you're from. 
If you want to support me, uh, I've got a Patreon account and I've set it at just $1, so hopefully it's accessible to all of you and you can, I'll put the tabs on there so you can print them off. Thanks for watching this, I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.